Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the new player to Overwatch and my impressions on the heroes. Currently, we are doing DPS characters. Um, we're about mm, maybe a little bit halfway. Uh, yeah, about meh, maybe. I don't know exactly how far into it we are, but today's video is going to be all about Genji. Okay, disclaimer. I do not play, I know I say this in other videos, but I do not play Genji very well. The reason I say that is because there are so many really, really good Genji players out there. Um, and I am not, <laughs> I am not one of them. Uh, so I kind of like some of these skins. I didn't know I had some skins for them. So we're going to go ahead and put that one on them. Uh, really sick looking character. Really, really good um, animations on them. Uh, I just don't play him very well, but with that being said, let's get to his skills and abilities. So he throws shurikens So he has uh, a burst of three and then he, he can throw a fan for an aoe attack uh, That's gonna be his primary weapon his abilities. He can deflect So say you're playing against maybe soldier or diva or somebody that, that does projectiles You can deflect those and they can actually go back and hit the person that you know shot them at you so really really neat his other ability is swift strike so he brings out his sword and rapidly dashes forward to inflict the damage however if you do get an elimination on that strike it automatically resets the cooldown of that swift strike his passives again like every other dps role you're going to get quicker uh reloads upon eliminations and he has an additional one which is cyber agility, which basically means he can double jump and climb up walls. So that one really comes in handy, especially if you're trying to kite and get away um, if you're getting into trouble. His ultimate, all right, his ultimate's pretty sick. It's called Dragon Blade. Basically, whenever he unsheathes his weapon, um, he calls upon the spirit of dragons and he can go and just pretty much one shot anybody, uh, minus some of the some of the tanks. But super super cool hopefully we can get a good clip or two uh in our gameplay later on uh because that would be really really cool to see let's go ahead and jump into the practice range and kind of go through some of these skills and abilities to show y'all before we jump into the match so so here is genji pretty pretty nimble character he seems to move i, I think everybody kind of moves the same speed uh minus some of the tanks but as you see here's that double jump right so and then obviously uh, he can climb right which is really really cool um so anywho let's go into his primary weapon so again he throws a shurikens so so these bots have 200 damage so if you hit all th all three three of your shots which is nine projectiles right you're going to be eliminating a 200 HP person at five meters. If you hit, if you hit, oh, sorry, we had to reload. So if you hit them at five meters headshots or even 10 meters, you need a two burst, right, in order to kill them. So let's go back here to 15, which is about right here. You see 15. So as you see, pretty lethal with his, uh, with his projectiles. Let's go 15 body shots. And you're still at that three burst for that. So we're actually going to go down here so I can show you his, uh, what do they call it, the deflect. So again, so as you see there, he can deflect. So right there, that, that dash forward, that was, that was, so again, that dash, right? And again, whenever you get an elim, it automatically resets. So, it's very, very quick. Until next time. So, hopefully I can show y'all some of this. Let me go over here and try to deflect again. So, so as you see, it bounces back and it hit, hit the enemy. So, those are his skills oh we forgot to do the ultimate uh so his ultimate right so as you can see there's a little dragon so you're basically three shotting some bosses it lasts about eight seconds or so roughly somewhere around there but 
And that's gonna be his skills and abilities. Let's go jump into a game. All right, so we just booted into a match. It only took about a minute this time. Uh, so we got Genji selected. As you see, really, really neat looking hero here. Really like the artwork done on him. So hats off to that animation team over there at Blizzard, or whoever, whoever the makers are. Um, anyway, so we're out here. We are doing escort again. So hopefully we can get it done. Really, really neat character, hero, legend, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Again, I'm, I may say legend instead of hero. I play a lot of Apex Legends, so bear with me. We're actually going to be doing this series in Apex after we complete the Overwatch series. And then, or oh, actually, I'm kind of debating between Apex and Rainbow Six Siege. I play a lot of Apex. I don't, I, I haven't played Rainbow Six Siege in a very, very long time. And I kind of like doing this as a new player because, you know, obviously there's a lot I don't know. I don't know, you know, what hero um, combats a different hero or counters on. We're actually going to try to... So it seems like we're moving the payload pretty well so far. <clears throat> Our healers are just eating it up. I'm missing all my shots here, as you see. I'm getting a few. This one seems to be doing okay today. On this round. So we're already about halfway to the end of the game here. But as you know, if anybody plays this, as you get further along while attacking, the harder it becomes because you do get closer to the enemy spawn point. This one might be okay. This might be a fast game here compared to some others. I'm hoping we have enough time. Okay, so we have our ultimate. Oh, what? Bro, no shot, dude. Yo, hats off to the Hanzo there that just smoked me while I was in my ultimate. Jeez, man. GG's, man. Can't be mad at it. Can't be mad at it. Anytime I get killed by Hanzo, it, I mean, it's frustrating. Come on, let's be honest. But it takes so much skill. So much skill to shoot with a bow and arrow. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Freak. <laughs> Whoopsies. But as I said, you know, you get as, as closer you get to their spawn, the harder it becomes because, you know, they're just, you know, we have to run all the way there. Right in the beginning, they have to run all the way, you know, towards the front of the map, if you will. And now we're having to run to the back just to. Let's take him to the wasteland. Get on that wood. Uh, I don't know if I can do 
reject that. I can't. Wow. GG there on the Mora. So, after we get done with DPS, we are planning to go over to the healers and do that. And then after the healers, obviously, we're going to go do tanks. So, just a very, uh, very quick note. I don't play heals or tanks very often. I've done it just to kind of experience it. Again, I'm not very good with Genji, which I feel so bad making these videos because whenever you can fight a good Genji, man, it just it creates a whole different game. We have four and a half minutes to get it, I don't know, 15 meters. Nah, maybe, maybe 25 meters. Unfortunate. So apparently, whenever you're going against whoever their tank is called, I can't remember. The oh shoot! Get out of here! keep jumping into the team and I don't really mean to do that I just I kind of start panic clicking buttons if I'm gonna be honest with you kind of unfortunate all right we got three minutes uh, two and a half minutes we haven't moved it at all actually I think they've moved it back so well this person absolutely got this way to get in here. Just got my ultimate queue up, so I'm actually gonna go and target their healers here. We're literally, well, we were 1.04 meters away. Oh, 
Oh, you don't deflect her little, like, flow thingy. Unfortunate. We've got a couple kills on the uh, Dragon Blade. So I'll take that. Second, we had four and a half minutes, y'all. Mistakes, and always we just couldn't get it done. We're not playing, I'm, I'm not playing as the team. I'm, not, I'm going off to kind of do my own thing. And there it oh. God dang it. There it is. Well, boys and girls, sometimes you win. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes you lose. Their moral was very good. However, we are going to endorse our healer. Oh, I endorsed the wrong person. Sorry there. There's the final stats for Genji. 16 elims, 1 assist, 10 deaths, y'all. A lot of deaths for me. 6,400 damage, so. If Genji somebody you would like to play that kind of play style right there, fits your, you know, fits your preferred play style. He is an awesome hero. He actually really is, I don't want to say one of my favorites, but he's one of my absolute worst people to play against whenever you have a good Genji on the opposing team. With that being said, that's all we got for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, like, the, like this video. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, let me know who you would like to see as the first healer video that we do uh, coming up probably next week or so. Um, so let me know. I'd appreciate it. Until then, y'all have a good one.